Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 166. Uh, the quote today is by Julian Assange, okay, and of course, you know, I'm sure you know him, he's already very famous. Uh, he's an Australian journalist, programmer, and the main name and face uh, to the whistleblower website WikiLeaks, okay. All right, we're actually going to cover two quotes today, so they're kind of similar, they relate to each other. So, this is the first one. Our number one enemy is ignorance. And I believe that is the number one enemy for everyone. It's not understanding what actually is going on in the world. Okay, that's the first quote. And here's the second quote. You have to start with the truth. The truth is the only way that we can get anywhere. Because any decision making that is based upon lies or ignorance can't lead to a good conclusion. All right, yeah, so what he's saying is you really need to know the truth uh, because many, a lot of decision-making sometimes is what leads to conflict, what leads to more aggression, what leads to more war. Uh, if, we, if we knew the truth, we pro we, maybe we could avoid these things. That's what he's trying to let you know. Okay, let's continue. Julian Assange has been at the forefront, you know, he's been one of the main ones pushing this. There are many others out there, but he's one of the ones at the forefront of trying to expose scandals to the general public uh, that they should know about. More and more people are becoming aware that they cannot count on or depend on uh, the mainstream media as a reliable news source. Many feel that the general public is purposely kept ignorant on many issues. And if we could know more of the truth, we may find out that our differences are not so far apart. So a lot of the reasons that we, we do fight or we do argue more uh, is because maybe we don't know the whole truth. We are told something, but that may not be the way it really is. Okay, let's continue. Some people um, believe there are powerful interests that want to keep uh, the people distracted uh, by the methods of divide and conquer. Yeah, I, I kind of covered con uh, divide and conquer a long time ago, uh, I guess as an idiom. But uh, basically divide and conquer always has groups fighting each other. And it seems like the mainstream media constantly focuses on this. Uh, whatever groups they are, it really doesn't matter, whether it's race warfare or class warfare or the two different political parties, you know. They always seem to promote stories that would have white people and black people fighting or Hispanic and white or man against woman, rich against poor, uh, and so on. So it seems like a lot of these stories are pushed on purpose. In our daily life, we just kind of want to get on. We, you know, most people just really want to live their lives. Uh, they want to concentrate and focus more on their family and things that seem to be more important to them. But constantly, we, uh, these stories are pushed at us, almost trying to instigate us to disagree or to have conflict. Uh, this is why Julian Assange is saying ignorance is the enemy of everyone. Yeah, if we knew more, we'd probably not be fighting so much. We would understand each other more, and we'd probably both, we'd probably find out that our goals are not so different. Okay, uh, hopefully in the future, more uh, will one day be exposed, more will one day come out, and humanity has more of a chance to set itself on the right track. Okay, anyway. Hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was informative. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.